I like the sound of it. Join me! Behind you! Man down! Guys, I think he's injured! We are gonna pass this time. Hello there Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to yet another Star Wars The Clone Wars action figure review. For my brand new figure review, I will be reviewing the brand new Clone Trooper cut up in training armor. Definitely really happy to have this figure. Now it's still unknown, at least to me, if he will be single carded or he will be included in a battle pack, probably featuring the rest of Domino's squad. Um, but he's definitely a great addition to my collection. and. Um, I will show you guys why you should pick him up or why you shouldn't. Alright. <clears throat> Obviously, since he hasn't been released yet, I don't have a battle game card or a um, card, you know, a packaging to go over. But um, that's okay, right? First and foremost, let's go over his articulation. Okay, let me just put him in the right position here. Okay. Cut-up has a ball, hin uh, ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, <clears throat> excuse me, ball hinged knees, I'm sorry, ball hinged tips, ball hinged knees, and no articulation on the ankles. So he literally has the same exact articulation as um, Heavy does. Um... Overall, though, his look is not too different from Heavy himself. Uh, obviously, they do have different rep weapons. He has, like, a blaster rifle for now. I'm not sure if that's the final weapon that he will include in the... When, it's, when it hits retail. Um, from what I can tell in the episodes, he only has a DC-15 blaster. Um, so, I don't know if he'll be having that in the actual, you know... Um, <clears throat> packaging, which I'm pretty sure he will, just like Heavy does. Um, overall, the looks is really nice. The paint job is well done. Um, you will tell some differences when it comes to the the arms right here. You can see how he has stripes that are painted green. As for Heavy, Heavy has it all painted green. Um, same thing with the gloves. He has it green here, but Cut Up has it white. Okay. Um, obviously they do have different numbers. Heavy is number one and cut up is number four. Same thing on the, um, shoulder. Okay. And on their hip, Heavy has 782, while this one has 4040. Okay, and last on the back, their numbers, of course. Okay. Now... Last thing I think I can point out is basically their head sculpts. Okay. I'll lift up the camera here. As you can see, their head sculpts really are different. I like cut ups a lot better than heavies. So you can see their cut ups face is really well detailed, really well made as well. As for heavies. It's really nice too, don't get me wrong. But I, I I don't know, he looks like he's scared to death or something, you know what I mean? Okay. Puts heavy to the back, focus on cut up. Overall, definitely an interesting figure to have. Um if you really want to build up Domino Squad and the Hasbro's probably gonna release some single carded, then I definitely recommend you guys picking cut up up when he hits retail or go to Tungori's store on eBay and you know purchase him he has them for a pretty decent price and he has quite a lot still in stock so definitely pick him up I'm really happy I own this action figure um, I'm glad to have many characters from the very first episode of season three such as these two I finally purchased LS um, Commander Colt, Shock T. So there's definitely lots of figures from that one episode that are being released little by little, and hopefully we can have the rest of Domino Squad very, very soon. Okay, and from a rating from one to a ten, I have to give Cut Up 
um, an eight and a half, just because he lacks certain articulation. Um, obviously, in the ankles, the hips, it could be better. Um, they're not as spread out as heavies. They're actually a lot more put together. But overall, he's definitely, definitely an awesome figure. <clears throat> Another great clone trooper to have in your clone trooper collection. Um, but if you really like clones that have articulation, then probably you might want to skip out on this guy. But other than that, trust me, you guys won't want to skip out on this figure because he's definitely really cool. And I'm pretty sure he's going to have better accessories when he's released on at retail. Okay? So, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about this figure. Just comment down below. Tell me if you guys want to pick him up. If you don't, what you have plans if you do with this figure. And follow me on Facebook. As usual, the link will be down in the description box below, okay? So, thanks a lot for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe again. And until next time, may the Force be with you.